We all loved the show Drake and Josh growing up, but little did we know that Drake would be here in 2022 huffing on some mysterious balloon while running errands with his kid. It's been a rough year for Drake, and there's no denying that. But this is something that I did not see coming, and everyone online is confused to what this could be and why he's doing this. So let's get into it. So there are some super weird pictures floating around of Drake Bell, and I wanted to talk about them. Now, this is all over the media, so please, Drake, do not come for me. But the headline reads that Drake Bell appears to be huffing balloons with his child in the car. You guys may know that Drake Bell is not a fan of the channel, which breaks my heart because I would actually maybe invite him on to talk about whatever he'd like to speak on. Actually, last time I spoke about him, he texted me not that long ago, this past summer. So really, I hope he doesn't reach out again because it's not that serious. And when I first saw this, I thought maybe he was playing with his kid because he's got his kid in the car. He's got a balloon, you know, like father duties, you know, maybe he's inhaling the helium, making his child laugh. But after doing some digging, it seems a little bit deeper than that. Keep in mind, he is currently on probation for child endangerment, and he was spotted huffing on balloons with his son in the car while parked outside his L.A. home, which I really like. Again, I'm going to try to give him the benefit of the doubt here. To be honest, I'm not that versed in the drug scene, and I've never really heard of someone getting high off of like a balloon. But I googled that gas inhaled by a nitrous gas cartridge pretty much is a whippet, which is like condensed air, I guess nitrous air that you can inhale and it makes you feel like a little bit loopy. Like sometimes people use it to um, like the nitrous air to clean their keyboards. I'm looking down at my computer and um, when you're not doing that, I guess you can huff on it and get high. But do you really think that he would be doing this in the car with his son? I mean, honestly, what I've heard about whippets, it doesn't really sound like an enjoyable experience and it doesn't necessarily last long. And part of me thought that maybe he was taking his kid to a birthday party. I don't know, but we've got two days of this. First, on a Thursday when his kid was in the car with him, he was seen placing his lips around a pink balloon outside his home. He continued to suck on the balloon for 30 minutes without moving his car. Are there like paparazzi people waiting at his home? I don't think so. This must have been some neighbor who was snitching on him. And I found a few other reports that claim that he was at his home in his driveway sucking on this pink balloon and he did so about six times which uh why would you need to i don't know inhale the balloon that many times i'm not entirely sure it's Obviously not just to change your voice and, you know, have a wacky voice for your son to be entertained if you're doing it over and over again. But like, really? A balloon as your drug of choice? On Friday, he was seen doing it again with a blue balloon, this time without his kid, which is probably a good choice. But there was a video taken of him taking small sucks of the inflated balloon with breaks in between after leaving a local vape shop with a black bag in his hand. When it comes to whippets and things like that, you can get them at the vape store, at the smoke shop, sometimes the liquor place. Those are where you get those items. So I guess it adds to the theory that he he could be using this type of substance in this balloon. And honestly, who's following Drake around? I think it's kind of ridiculous that this person's following them around, but they followed him to a different parking lot where he spent about 15 minutes deflating the balloon with his mouth. It's unclear if any substances were in the balloons other than air.
I think it's safe to say that this is bizarre behavior. And after his balloon balloon session, he actually went to Del Taco and went home. So he went out to the vape shop, got his balloon fix, and then went to the taco place and went home. Sounds like a successful day. Radar Online claims that they did reach out to his attorney, but of course nobody's responded and we haven't seen anything online from him. I've just seen a bunch of TikToks bringing this up, so please don't come for me. There's other people talking about this too. This isn't great timing for Drake because he has had a rough year. He pled guilty to a felony charge of attempted child endangerment and a misdemeanor charge of disseminating matter harmful to juveniles. This happened back in July 2021 and he's currently Currently serving two years of probation. So if this like was illegal, which I don't know if it is, then I don't know if this could get him in trouble because like, I, I still don't understand. Like if you did something illegal and the police didn't catch you doing it, can you get in trouble for it? Like, could he get in trouble? I guess they would have to prove that there was something else in those balloons. See, it's a really complicated situation. And the situation that happened back in July 2021 was rough for Drake's career. I mean, it's even rougher for the teenager who spoke out against him and who's had a a really rough time with how the media has taken it. But nonetheless, um, I think that chapter is closed and... I was hoping that ya boy would keep himself out of trouble. Drake may not believe this, but I don't want to see anybody fail out here. And I just hope that he isn't getting stuck into that like whip it situation because I know one of my friends like got into like a time loop where she just did it over and over again because it's like this like burst of euphoria that you get and then it like goes away and then you just want to do it over and over and over again. And at some point, oh my gosh, my chest is getting tight thinking about it. Like your chest will get tight. Your head will start pounding. I've seen some people where they've just done it for hours. So at least he's not sitting here in these cars for like, you know, four hours at a time um, because it could be worse. But it's a scary thing to be on and you can legally buy it. And it also can like mess with your blood flow and your brain. Also, my nose is so itchy because I just did those pore strips. But I tell you, those pore strips work unbelievable. Like if I were to ever come out with a skincare product, I want to make bigger pore strips because I put them on my forehead, I put them on my cheek, and they it really works. But as far as the other situation, I, I can't really talk into detail about it. I released on my Instagram story a police report of what I filed. Um, I still believe it's those people. I 100% do. There's no denying it in my mind. Uh, and I'm speaking with people who represent H3. So H3 is a pretty good podcast. And thank you for the recommendation because I think um, he'll do a great job. But anyways, thank you guys for being so caring. Things are scary and there's a lot to this. And I hope one day I can share every single receipt because you guys know I have them. Anyways, I'll see you in a new video soon. Bye guys. 